now 10 o'clock p.m. Organizing these books has taken over probably like three hours. It's not really that much of a difference. And it's nice that there's more room on the floors. Yes, I said floors. So I'm really looking forward to carrying like 10 pounds to 20 pounds of books. So I just took a break just to see like what I'm dealing with. And um, so as you can tell, I am basically surrounded by books right now. Hi guys, everyone. So this is a weird video because I'm actually going to be doing, or at least I hopefully I will be able to do a bookshelf organization video where I'm actually going to be showing you the mess on my shelves and what I plan to do with the mess on the floor. So if you guys didn't know, I have actually one, two, three, and then four, five. So I have five bookshelves, but they're kind of filled. As you can tell, they're kind of to the ceiling at this point. So I do have a lot of books everywhere and I need to find a way or figure out a way where to put the books so that my room doesn't feel super packed and super jammed. And this is going to be my video of where I'm going to figure out and reorganize my shelves and hopefully bring you along the process so you can see what is happening on my shelves and what I'm doing. So my first plan right now is to go through the stacks that are on my floor and to move books into some boxes that I can take downstairs to the basement or to wherever they need to go either unhaul pile or either to the basement because I have a room in the basement where I can put some storage of the books that I want to still keep and that I want to read but not in the immediate future since I don't have that much room in my room I just have so many books that my mom and my dad has been telling me that I'm really damaging the floors since I live on my second floor and that it might collapse one day so now I'm worried about the weight on my shelves as well. So I'm going to try to move as many books downstairs in the basement and show you. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing too many montages because that's not interesting for me to do. So I'm just going to status update you every so few seconds so you can see what I'm doing. So this is so embarrassing to show you because I normally don't share my floors because my floors are just so messy that... I just don't think that it's cool to show you guys, but this is what I'm dealing with. So um, a lot of people don't really see this, but I actually have a lot of piles of books next to me where I sit. But I have like my arcs pile kind of here, and then I kind of have like more books down there. Oh my god, it just looks so scary from this angle. And I have like random crap here and there that I need to clear up too as well, because my room is starting to become super messy and super gross. So I guess like the main focus area that we have right now is here in front of our two shelves because I do have all the books that I have hauled and are to be hauled sitting here and then we have our shelves here so I really don't know what I want to do with these shelves I know that up here I have like a lot of books that don't need to be up there so I have like middle grade novels or like novels that I've read when I was like a young adult a teenager that I loved but it doesn't need to be on my shelf anymore I don't need to see it in my room anymore then I have like a bunch of classics that I I don't read and I don't feel like I will be reading anytime soon so I feel like that can go into the basement or go into the unhaul pile and then we just have like random books like stacked up there as well that I need to take down um if you guys are looking at my shelves I know this isn't a bookshelf tour but if you guys see like little pieces of paper here and there it's because I don't have a designated area to put like cards and things like that and so I just shove it in here um so this is like a signed autograph from a a band member that I really like. Um, it's a band in Toronto called Tokyo Police Club. And then I have like a birthday card. And then I also have a illustration drawing of me that was done at my work's Christmas party that I haven't bought a frame for and I never stuck it on the walls. There is albums from Tokyo Police Club that I really like. As you can see, we have some printouts of Tokyo Police Club on my walls. Yeah. And a birthday card stuck on my walls but that is basically it so for this shelf this is kind of like all my harlequins right here and these harlequins are dated like i looked at the books behind and i saw that 
they were from 2017 and I haven't read them yet. So I really am doubting myself like whether I should take them to the basement or not. I know that if I take them to the basement, I'm just never going to read them. But if I at least see them, like it'll remind me to read them. Um, I have Romantic Suspense here. Romantic Suspense is honestly a Harlequin line that I fooled myself and thought that I was going to read. That's why I have a fair share of them on my shelves. But I honestly don't really have an interest of them. So maybe I'll move those downstairs into the basement. But until then I'm going to probably sit down and look at my shelves and decide like what I'm going to do with them before I start because I find that if I have a plan things will go easier and things will go faster as opposed to me just starting to move objects and then hating it and then the whole floor is a mess and then hating myself because I'm creating more of a mess than it needed to be and then I also have like another section that's outside of my room that I have to show you guys too but don't judge me so like as soon as you open the door you kind of have like this like little table here in front of my door and um don't judge me with those korean k-pop posters that i don't know where to put and it's like completely messy i told you i need to clean my room don't judge me um but basically this is my stack of historical romances that i have read versus also books that i didn't read yet but i have no room in my room anymore so i put them outside so that i know at least see them when i'm entering my room i have a lot of like book boxes that go out there too as well because i don't know what to do with the boxes i have some boxes filled with books that need to either be put in the basement or to be donated to the thrift shop and i just have a lot of like miscellaneous crap on the floor that was sent to me from publishers like teacups and like muffin jars and like a freaking muffin mitt that was sent to me from a publisher as well so we're just going to close that but at least you know that that is a mess that i would need to clean so what i did right now is that i just kind of moved a couple of piles of books out of the way and i put my chair up here so that I can go up there and basically grab all the books that don't need to be up there throw it down put it in a box and then take it downstairs to the basement or unhaul so I guess that's my step one so wish me luck everybody so I just want to quickly show you what the book stacks are like behind the first row of books as you can see I have some Jane Green shout out to Spencer if she's watching this video because she loves Jane Green and I never read her books I have some like YA books that I've read back in high school that I enjoyed and then I have like Cassandra Clare's books that I read one book of and I didn't like it but I bought like the first five books in a box set from the thrift shop so then now I'm like trapped with them and then I have some women's fiction novels that I bought from the thrift shop because I thought that I was super classy and that I'm going to read it one day I ended up not reading it and it's on the top of my shelf so I'm going to go through these titles and then I'm just going to unhaul some books I have a lot of thriller novels as well as some classic novels up there so like American Cycle Catch-22 Honestly, I don't think I'm going to be reading those books, so I'm going to probably do a quick unhaul as well. So I just spent the last like maybe 20 minutes or so going through some of the books on my top shelf. And I have done a great job at like clearing out like the spaces and I have some room up there. I think I'm going to start putting my historical romances up there that I've already hauled and showed you guys. And I'm just going to put it up there because I have no room on my floors. This is the pile of books that I will be donating to the thrift shop. It's just an unhaul. Mostly these books are either already from the thrift shop that I picked up thinking that it was going to be a good idea to read. And then now I'm going through it. I just know that I will never read them or I won't have time to read them. This is a stack of books that I'll be bringing down to the basement. It's books that I don't want to let go of yet because I'm not sure what to do with them. They remind me of childhood and things like that. Um, it's going to sound really weird, but I basically listen to Marie condo and I know her bullshit about like you should only keep like 30 books on your shelves is a ridiculous idea for all of us but her point of does this book bring you joy or does it remind you of something that makes you happy um is an important rule to have when you're cleaning I feel like so I'm keeping the books that remind me of my childhood that I really appreciated and I have a stack of the City of Bones or City of Ashes or whatever that Mortal Instrument series book. I kept it because it's really great condition. Hopefully I can sell it off when COVID is over. So yeah, this is the progress. So a quick update. I just came back from downstairs. I put the books downstairs in that room. 
emptied it, put it on the shelf, and then I grabbed a box to put my unhaul in. So if you guys want to take a closer look, it's not interesting. Like literally, it's all classics and like whatever books that I bought thinking that I was going to be a very cultured and hipster reader that I aspire to be but alas I am not that type of person so I'm just gonna give it off to someone I know who's gonna love it more than me and then up there you can already kind of see that I started putting my historical romances there I put my Victoria Alexander a lot but I know that I want to keep my authors together so that I know that I'm not buying duplicates and more is going to be coming so I don't know if I'm gonna put more on that shelf but yeah, the next step I'm going to do is probably reorganize my haul pile, make sure that they go into the appropriate genres, and then move them into the appropriate spaces in my room. I think I'm going to have to tackle these towering shelves of books or stacks of books as well, because I know some of them shouldn't be here. Some of them could be unhauled and things like that. Look, it's my NCT light stick okay this is super random but when i was on my bookshelves i found my old sticker books and this was literally my treasure chest of sticker books and i have these two random sticker books that i bought from the dollar store that i cherished so much that i hardly ever use them but now it's just funny to me because they're straight going into the trash can um the other thing that i wanted to show you is that of how proud of a canadian i am so so vancouver 2010 is the olympics so it's the winter olympics it was like kind of like a long time since we hosted here in canada and then the mint so like our coin and currency organization here in canada decided to print um, some really special edition coins for all the sports that were available here in the Olympics. And then I collected all of them. Like I went through my change and I found them. So here it is. This is a loony. It's a dollar. These are quarters. So they're 25 cents. So yeah, pretty cool, right? Am I right? So hi, we're back. Um, So as you can tell, I am basically surrounded by books right now. Actually, you can't tell from this angle, but I have destroyed one of the towers here. And now I'm going to go through some of these books to make sure that I still want them in my room or if I want to unhaul it. Um, it's going to be an interesting process. And then I'm going to also show you a shelf back there right now that I have all the books I have read on that shelf, but do I still want to keep them? Is the main question so this is my last shelf that i have here on my historical romance bookshelf and these are all the books i have read and now i'm going to ask myself do i want them do i want to keep them or do i want to just donate them let's go so i just took a break just to see like what i'm dealing with and yep i'm surrounded by books that is the empty shelf that i'm currently looking for looking through and yep I'm listening to an audiobook right now as I'm doing this it's called Paris is always a good idea I'm enjoying it so far but yeah back to cleaning okay so here's an update um so as you can see I put back the books in the bottom of the shelf and I put all the books that I have read so I kept my romances from this year on the shelf so it's Eh, it's easier for me to grab to showcase on my bookstagram. I mean, most of these books I have shown on my account for many times already, so I don't feel like the pressing need to like continuously add them to my feed so they can be buried a bit. This is a tower of books that I have not read yet. So we have some romances and then we also have some thrillers and um, fiction at the bottom so it goes in the order of like when I want to read them first I guess and then I started a pile full of arcs and then I have some hard covers and indie romances in this tower right here but yeah a lot more to go okay so I'm back again and I did very well, I feel like. I think I like the aesthetic of like how the books are being put. So these are all the books that I've read, but I need to feature more on my Instagram account so it's easier for me to grab. Then I have one, two, 
and three stacks of mass paperback copies. So the first row are just some books that I want to read very soon. Love Anna Harrington. So I put her out. Then I have my Joanna Lindsay, Celise Bradley, um, Ally McKay, which is like a time travel historical romance and some Victoria Alexander romances. And then behind are just some other um, mass paperback books that I want to read very soon. So I put them there, but I don't need to see like the spine of them like ASAP because they're not my top priority titles that I want to put. And then over here are just some like I said, like the romances, I just like put them in the front. In the back are like YA and miscellaneous books that I want to read, but like not soon. So I put them in the back because I can forget about them. Then we have our ARCs pile. I used to have an ARC shelf up there, but I changed it into a historical romance shelf because I needed more room for my historical romances. And then the top two shelves at the top are my arcs and my yeah they're just my arcs that i haven't read yet so now you will see that i have all my harlequins that i kind of just stacked i don't know where to put them into like a ne neater pile because i don't like them being very loosey-goosey because they slip and slide everywhere then i have yep so i toss the books that i'm going to um, donate and slash books that I'm going to move downstairs into the basement into a box and outside of the box so I got that mess to clean up but I can foresee myself almost finishing I'm like underneath the table if anybody wants to know where I am right now so it's been a long time since I showed my face in this organization video but there's really nothing for me to show my face about or for um i have a box of books that i'm gonna have to move downstairs to the basement so i'm really looking forward to carrying like 10 pounds to 20 pounds of books downstairs to the basement and then i have so far two boxes of books that i'm going to unhaul and donate to a thrift shop near me um i feel like my room is looking a lot better now i just need to kind of figure out like where should i put my harlequins where should i put my other mass paperback copies but so far, so good. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video and it's interesting to you. Um, bookshelf tour is daunting to me because you can already tell that like I have a lot of books and I don't really know how to make a bookshelf tour interesting. But anyways, I'll be back later. The next part that I'm probably going to have to work on is my TBR shelf. I know I have like a lot of books on here that shouldn't be here. Books that I don't care for anymore that need to be hauled or moved to a different area. So hopefully this cart can be cleared out because this is where I sit when I work and I like to look at books that make me happy. Like my historical romance shelf that I really enjoy. Oh look, it's day six. Okay, so I'm back. Um, not really much has changed from the TBR shelf. I just put like kind of like my favorite romance novels on the top. So like Sophie Kinsella, The Escape Room, which is one of my favorite thrillers, and some books that I kind of already started but never finished goes on this shelf so that I can remember to finish it, even though it's been like months since I started reading it. Um, some self-help books go on the second shelf. I have some book sleeves. I have a stapler there that I need to pick up some more books that I have to take downstairs to the basement because I don't need them to be in my room and now we have this whole stack of harlequins that don't really have a room on my shelf on my harlequin shelves and then these books I'll be unhauling so yeah great progress uh just to keep you guys also updated I am starving right now and I'm gonna pass out Okay, so clearly I need to vacuum my floors, but it's looking better. So I just put the Harlequins into that white basket. Not sure what I'm going to do with them, honestly. And those two, actually those three boxes right there, that's actually all my Harlequins. Yep, they came in the box and I left them in the box. That's how you know how it's going with me and my Harlequin buying addiction. I just keep buying them, but do I read them? Not really. Anyways, this is kind of like my floor. Gotta empty my trash can. Don't pay attention to it. Still gotta clean my desk. What a mess. But doing better. So this is just like left with a pile of books that I've hauled that I still need to clean up. I have some books from Harlequin that I need to take pictures of and that I never hauled yet that I kind of need to keep separate because um, my 
job and then I have some um, props I need to clean up and then pretty much I think I'm going to be satisfied with the ending. This Value Village bag right here is actually a bag full of books that I have yet to haul and show you guys so I need to show you guys before I figure out where to put them. I'm thinking that they're going to either go up there or they're going to go up there or there um this top shelf right here is all my thrillers or like some thrillers that i'm interested in reading i think i need to move some off the shelves and put them in dancers in the basement too again because you know i don't really need them here like daisy joan and the six i don't have an interest in reading the physical copy i'd rather do the audio the perfect girlfriend all these are available at my library so i could easily take them downstairs but the thing is is that i need to see them in order to remember to borrow them from the library so i'm probably just going to remove some of them okay so it's been a couple of hours now it is now nine o'clock p.m it's dark outside and i still have to clean the pile that's still left on my floor it's just a couple of props i used for my instagram photos and i'm just going to put them in the corner where it belongs and then i'm going to clean up my stacks of books and i should be done my bookshelf organization kind of i say kind of because there is probably still a lot of books on my shelves that i could still unhaul but right now, it's not the time, it's not the place. I just need to clean up what I can see and feel comfortable enough to give up until the next couple months. Okay, so I'm exposing myself once again, but I think I cleaned up this shelf outside my door pretty well. Um, I just took away the books that were duplicates that I left outside, and I'm going to take it downstairs into the basement, cleaned up to where I put my posters, and then... That box is just filled with a lot of Harlequin books that I need to take pictures of for work. And then that box right there is just a box full of books that I kind of promised for my publisher to put out on my Instagram stories. And then we have some of my favorite books that I don't need to keep in my room, but they can just stay outside for a bit just in case I need to take pictures of. And then these are also all the books that I've read for historical romances, except for these. But I did read the Tessa Dare, Helena Hunting, and then all those historical romances. This is just a stack of Joanna Lindsay books that I haven't read yet, but I had no room in my room to put in my room. And then we just have like some random historical romances here. If you guys are wondering what this is, this is a block of soap that my director made for me for Christmas and I haven't used it yet. He made it himself handmade. It's lemon, which is pretty cool. This is a burnt out light bulb that I will need to toss out. So outside right here are just two boxes of books that are going to be unhauled. I'm going to find another box to put all the books in so that I could fill and then I'm going to donate it to the thrift shop. This is just a box of books that I'm going to take downstairs to the basement um, they're duplicates or just books that I want to read, but not right now. And then I have a lot of boxes that I need to throw away. So I'm just about done my shelves. I think I put away all the books that needs to be put away. And to be honest with you, like, I don't see any difference whatsoever. Like, I just feel like once again, all the books look like they're overwhelming me and there's like a lot of books everywhere, but like, what did you expect? So let's just do a quick run through of the shelves and how it turned out. So I'm sorry if there's not enough light, but basically that is where I'm going to keep some of my historical romances. So I have my Victoria Alexander, Monica McCartney there. I have some contemporary romances and some teen. This is my YA middle grade shelf. So I have all my YA books here. Then I have all my Harlequins here. And then we have like a bunch of crap on my shelves that I have yet to clean. This is a book organization video not a room organization video and then we have more romances and then you kind of see that I have my um, Harlequin romances and then we also are getting to the area where I usually keep my props so that bag needs to be emptied and like put into the appropriate pile um, so I just finished my book haul which is great but um, I realized that I have this whole stack of books that I forgot to haul in my video because they were outside of my room and I didn't realize it. So that's really fun. And then I kind of have some more eBay books that I'm going to haul for you guys 
once again, the Valley Village bag of books that I need to haul. And then after I haul, I'm going to have to find a space for it once again. And then I have a stack of Harlequins that were sent to me for work. So that's great. Moving on, this is kind of like a brief overview of my shelves and the piles on my desk. I mean, the piles on my floor. And then, um, so I think I'm kind of happy with how these piles turned out. They're more pushed back, so they're not like invading my space when I'm sitting down at my desk when I'm doing work. And then just like kind of like a brief overview, this is kind of how many stacks there are. So they're double stacked. This one's triple stacked with mass paperbacks. And um, this is like mass paperback romances, like historical and contemporary. This is the stack of books that I already finished reading, but I want to take more photos of for Instagram. This is the stack of romances and YA books that I want to read. This is my stack of arcs that were sent to me from publishers that I need to focus on, on promoting the titles. And then we kind of have my TBR cart that I kind of cleared out, but not really. You can see kind of that there's like a lot of room back there that I can put more books back there but I don't know which books yet and I didn't want to like think about it because I know that if I put it back there on the TBR shelf I'm just going to forget about them. Um, we have our two piles of books or two long stacks of books very tall of uh, books that I've read last year that I want to keep around in my room for photos. We have my boxes filled with my technology we have um, contemporary romance mass paperbacks. We have some romances there, just random assortments. This is my newly built historical romance shelf that I'm very proud of. I really like the spines. There's just something so soothing about um, putting all the author's books together so that you can just see like it's just a whole stack of Sophie Jordan novels I have yet read or Lauren Heath novels that I have yet read. And then moving up, we kind of have my ARCs shelf, the books that were sent to me from publishers I have not read yet, or books I got free from events that I never read yet, or books or ARCs that were traded um, that I haven't read yet. Then this is just like more ARCs, and then as you can see, I have more room up there to put my historical romances. I'm not too afraid about that value village bag that I was showing you about, so I have room there. And then I guess this is my day six poster. This is XO. That's XO. And behind there, that's XO as well. Um, this is actually where I keep all my UK romances. So, yep, I have a lot. And I got a bunch of, like, um, 2000s, early 2000s romance, contemporary romance from eBay. No, not eBay, from Amazon Marketplace. That one time I went crazy and I just bought all of them. But yeah, um, lots of people have been asking me, is that Sehun behind me? And yes, that is Sehun. I got that poster and made it myself at Walmart. Super proud of myself. That's Jamin from NCT Dream, day six once again. That is an EXO poster, day six. And that is Jisung from NCT Dream. His poster's falling off. I need to fix it. And then moving on to here, we have Jisung, Jamin, Chen Lo, and then we have Gong Yu and Lee Dong Wook from Goblin, my favorite drama, which as you can see, the poster is falling off again. There's more space here, so... I want to put another poster up there very soon. But anyways, it's now 10 o'clock p.m. Organizing these books has taken over probably like three hours at most. Uh, I just took an hour today of filming my August book haul that is not yet complete. But um, it was fun, I guess. Um, I feel kind of comfortable, more comfortable now that my books are kind of cleared, but not really. Like, as you can tell, there's not really that much of a difference. And that's like one of the major problems I tend to have with book organization is that I don't really see that much of a drastic difference. Um, it's nice that there's more room on the floors. Yes, I said floors. It's funny to me because um, Lacey's always like, you have so many books, but where do they go? And they go on the floors. Yes, they go on the floors. Okay, guys, they go on the floors. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and this brief bookshelf tour. Let me know if you guys want a deeper bookshelf tour and maybe I will actually find some time and go through these books because these books right here, they are double stacked, so there's books behind them. I don't know if it's interesting to you guys to see like the titles that I do have. Also, um, if you guys are wondering why I have like this vine here, it's not for aesthetic purposes. It's not like I'm trying to be cute. Like, 
not cute. This is just me buying this like vine thinking that it'll look nice for my Instagram and it didn't look nice. I didn't like it so I never made it to my Instagram page and I didn't want to tangle it up in the pile of props that I have so I just threw it on here. So now it looks like I'm kind of living in the jungle. But anyways I'm rambling but hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.